Good evening, everyone. Another half case break of 2017 Bowman Draft Baseball Jumbo Edition. Four box Ram team break number seven, which means it's from a fresh case. Big thanks to these folks for uh, digging deep. There they are. That's the list right there. Thanks for getting in. And there are the teams right there. Remember, we combo the Cardinals and the Nats. We combo the Orioles and the Cubs. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list three and a six nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. We got Sam Banks down to Jake Johnson. Three and a six, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. We got the Strohs on top and the Mariners on the bottom. Oh, look at that, Arthur. It must be a sign. You have the Diamondbacks. Sam Banks, you have the Astros. There's Arthur and his Diamondbacks. Victor Z with the White Sox. Mike Tower with the Mets. DeGroosh, you got the A's. Scott Smith with the Yankees. Ed with the Phillies. Jason with the Royals. Mike Coons with the Cardinals and Nationals combo. Colin, Twins. Pirates for Allen. Lee Keller with the Reds. Scott Smith with the Rays. Joe Cavanaugh Jr., Padres. That's a good one. Anthony Chan with the Angels. Kevin House, Orioles, Cubs. Manuel with the Brew Crew. Lee with the Tigers. Ed with the uh, Rangers. Brian, you got the Rockies. Mike Koontz with the Giants. Jason L. with the Indians. Ed, you've got my Dodgers. Joe Cavanaugh Jr., JKJ with the Marlins. Scott, you got the Braves. Brian with the Blue Jays. Peter with the Red Sox. And Jake Johnston with the Mariners. And remember, this features the, uh, 2017, uh, the 2017 draft class. Those are the main guys here, so keep that in mind. Knowledge is power. Do your research. Yeah, Arthur. See? I don't know. It must be a sign or something like that. It must be a sign. Uh, Lee looking for Padres or Angels. So asking if they're for trade. Uh, what does Last Bot Mojo mean, asks Rob. Um, Last Bot Mojo is just a, it's just a fun thing that we do. It's just trying to encourage people to, to buy into breaks and close out breaks, and then we just say that there's Last Bot Mojo. But over time, we realize there's a little extra bit of magic that happens, a little bit of extra mojo that happens with those Last Bot Mojos. And so we started keeping track of it. We put a little asterisk next to their name. So... We started keeping track of it, and the joke we like to say is that that uh, that seventy percent of the time, last spot mojo hits a hundred percent of the time. It's good math. It's good math. I th I, th I, th I thought I saw Victor Z here, Lee. Victor, if you're listening, Lee Keller is looking for the White Sox. Joe Cavanaugh says no on the Padres. Uh, while, while you guys are thinking about trades, let me pop this guy open. Okay. Yeah, Arthur, maybe the fifth time's a charm. Why are the Cardinals combo with the Nationals? Probably because um, they probably don't have a lot of... We, we base combos based on um, quantity and perceived quality. So just to kind of even things out, we often... Uh, to even things out, we often combo teams with maybe fewer hits together as best as possible anyway. All right, so while people are trading, let's do a randomizer here. Let's do um, one, two, three for the top row, four, five, six for the bottom row. And it's five, bottom row. So the top, I thought I had a regular Sharpie here. I keep losing it every time I think. Oh, there it is. Aha, uh -huh. aha. Uh -huh. I got it this time. It's always a... The struggle is real on this. So bottom, so X marks the spot on these. So this is pick your team seven. So this is for the, uh, I'm just gonna kind of chicken scratch on here, P-Y-T, that's terrible. Hard to write at this angle. So writing P-Y-T on all of those, so that'll be for the next break though. 
We have an outside chance of getting this done tonight, folks, so keep that in mind. Um, all right, so uh, Rusty, that's Brian Dunn. Victor Z says, don't know a lot about this draft class, so he's just going to go with the White Sox. Um, and Brian passes on the Tigers. What about Tigers, White Sox, or Tigers, Blue Jays? He, I think he's going to pass on the Tigers in general, or Blue Jays anyway. And Victor Z is going to stand. Okay, so we're just going to go. TWC, trade window closed. So that list you see there remains the same. Did I print that list out? I did not. That list remains the same. Oh, I did. It's right here. All right, so there's the final list. Good luck, everybody. Nice, fresh case, so fresh and so clean. Let's see what kind of monsters we pull out of here. All right, Regicidal, Lee looking for a Jeter Downs for the Reds. That'll be a big one. This is a great way to learn about, see, because I'm not super familiar with the new draft class as well. Um, so this is, a, this is a great way to learn about the new players that have been drafted by possibly your favorite teams. Good way to learn. I think that's why, I have a feeling that that's one of the reasons why, um, that's one of the reasons why Bowman draft tends to be a pretty popular uh, pretty popular product because it's still reminiscent of the way I think people used to use baseball cards back in the day, which is to look on the back of the card and learn what, what these players are all about. No, no Aaron Judge in this one, Rob. This is basically all future stars, prospects. Recent draft picks. This is this is just all future stars, recent draft picks, almost exclusively. Maybe some second year players. But uh, but almost no active players in here. Alright, so we're not shipping the paper, but we are shipping the chrome, of course. Everyone knows this by now. So we're not shipping all that paper. Obviously, the numbered paper we will ship. We'll come across that at some point, I'm sure. Joe Perez for the Astros is our first Chrome parallel at a 399. Uh, Sam Banks with the Strohs. Nice one, Sam. We'll breeze through this paper a little bit here. And there's our first autograph. So we got the parallel. Now you have the auto. Joe Perez on card auto for the Strohs and Sam Banks. There it is. He's your 53rd overall pick. Brian, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, Rob, things have certainly changed uh, since the late 90s. That's for sure, yeah. One of the things is, for especially for people who are getting back into collecting, there's Matt Tabor. There we go. Arthur, fifth time's a charm. Matt Tabor, on-card autograph, green parallel for the Diamondbacks. 14 out of 99. 
third round, 82nd overall pick. There you go. Nice, Arthur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a nice color as well. So we, also, this paper is not going to ship. This paper will ship, though. Colton Hawk, 43 out of 499. That'll go to the Marlins. That'll be for JKJ, Joe Cavanaugh Jr. That's just some paper. And no worries, Arthur. No worries, man. Thank you for getting in. There's Jorge Mateo. Out of 200, 70th anniversary blue. That's for the A's. That'll be for DeGroosh. There you go, DeGroosh. Wait, what, what happened with that raccoon, DeGroosh? The raccoon in your attic. We, need, we didn't update on that story. I don't know if you mentioned it earlier. I missed it if you did. Gold paper, Desmond Lindsay. Three out of 50. That'll go to Mike Tower and the Mets. And Shane Boz, the Boz. Pirates autograph. That'll go to Alan Murdoch. So DeGroosh has an update for us. If you were if you were with us yesterday, I'm sure you or the, maybe the day before yesterday, we heard all about that the raccoon in DeGroosh's attic. And apparently the trap is set as of this afternoon, but he's still rooming around, rummaging. Going through all of your stuff. Brian asking, has it ever snowed in California? You might want to rethink that how you phrase that question, Brian. 282 out of 399. Has it ever snowed in California? Rangers with that one. That'll go to Ed. Blue paper, Bo Bichette. Not Boba Fett, but Bo Bichette. That goes to Brian. That's Rusty in the chat out of 150. Dante's kid, of course. And Michael Kopech. 207 out of 250, purple chrome for the fireballer. That goes to the White Sox. That'll go to, uh, I think, Victor. Yeah, Victor Z. With that one. Brian's saying, well, because it never snows in Texas, and it did, so I'm assuming, has it ever snowed in California? I'm assuming geography is not your strongest subject in, uh, in middle school, Brian. <laughs> I'll have to show you a map after this break, Brian, and I'll show you what California looks like. Rob's got you. Yeah, plenty of snow in California. We have we have a couple of the biggest ski resorts in California. Mammoth. 
and uh, we're we're on the border of Nevada, which has the uh, which has the Sierras. So, a lot of snow there. You got to know the geography, man. Yosemite, a lot of mountains, Kings Canyon, Northern California, right near Oregon, a lot of big mountains there. Mount Shasta. Yeah. It's not just all Redondo Beach. It's not always what you see outside of our store when you watch our show. No, we've got a pretty diverse geography out here. From deserts like you can you can go in a day, you can go to you can go surfing, you can go to the desert and, and, and go dirt biking and then go to the mountains and go skiing in one day. That's possible. Ooh, some orange. Orange Evan White. Six out of 25. Your 17th overall pick for the Mariners. Nice one for Jake Johnston. That is strong. And that's... Oh, good one, Joe Cavanaugh. I wish I would have thought of that. And get big hits in the same day from Jaspie's Hobbyland. I'm going to keep that in mind next time. All right, we'll breeze past this paper. Those don't ship. These do. Make sure these aren't those black refractors. There's MJ Melendez. 25 out of 399 going to the Royals. Jason L. There's Melendez again. And Blake Hunt, I don't think we've seen Blake Hunt autograph yet. Blake Hunt for the Padres. That'll go to Joe Cavanaugh Jr., the JKJ. 407 out of 499, second round pick. It's all paper here. Uh, no, uh, the Evan McKay was pulled in the previous break. So for Evan White, Lee's saying that, that scouts are saying that uh, when, I, when, when scouts are asked about comparisons on him, Cody Bellinger defensively and Stephen Piscotty offensively. It's pretty good. Cody Bellinger's pretty underrated defensively. Brett Netzer, purple paper, at a 250. That goes to the Red Sox. That'll be for Peter. That was going to be an autograph. It's not. Cal Mitchell, though, 64 out of 150. Pirates, Alan Murdoch. There you go, Alan. Still looking for one more autograph in here. There it is, Casey Clemens. That goes to Brian. 
Rusty here in the room on the YouTube stream. There you are. KJ Harrison out of 499. Brewers, that'll be for Manuel. There's Nick Gordon, D's brother. Is that some gold coming up? Alex Fajardo, gold, six out of 50, your 18th overall. And that goes to Lee Keller with the Tigers, nice. And Lee's like, wish it was an auto. Baby steps, Lee, baby steps. Let's get the parallel first, and then we can work our way up to the auto. All right, there you go. That's still nice, though. Yeah, the golds are nice. Um, who? Well, who was in the 2013 Bowman draft class, Joe Cavanaugh? I don't think so. I think I missed that by a year when I started breaking. I don't think I started breaking, or I, think I, I don't think I was breaking when 2013 was out. Oh, Aaron Judge was in that. See, I don't think I... What were, there, what were some of the other bigger names in that set? What was the Chris Bryant? Was the Chris Bryant year 2014? No, I, I clearly, uh, clearly don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't remember pulling any judges back then, so probably not. I do remember, I do remember the Chris Bryant era. So when his Bowman draft was out, so I think, yeah, that had to be fourteen or fifteen, right? Maybe with Kyle Schorber as well. But yeah, I think I start. I started breaking. I think maybe a year after that 2013 set, Joe. So yeah, I don't. I have yeah. I don't have recollections of like Judge or Puig. Or I I would remember if I did Bowman draft and and pulled Puig. So yeah, I think I must have started like a year after that then. Good luck, folks. Next up, three more autographs in here. Another few more autographs in that last one. Ooh, Blue Wave. Brent Rooker. Twins, that'll go to Colin Matoy. Nice, I do, Brian. But I don't, see, I don't see what a basketball player has to do with a baseball break right now. 49 out of 150. Blue Wave, nice one for the Twins. Twins, of course, have the first overall, Royce Lewis. And that's one of the bigger names in this set. That's one of the things that Colin will be looking for, but these Blue Waves are nice too. Blue Paper, Trevor Stefan, Yankees, out of 150. The Blue Paper going to Scott Smith.
Joe Kavanaugh is saying that that Rooker, 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 like a rook in chess. I'm gonna go with Rooker. The Rooker, that the Rooker's a three-digit card. Yeah, the Bowman draft cards definitely have value because, well, these are among the first cards that you'll get. Out, did I pass a green? Come on, Joe. I did. There's Alex Hansen. 98 out of 99. See, that, that's what I get for reading about Brian name dropping Bruce Bowen. <laughs> uh, no, I do not know Harry Carson either. But yeah, as I was saying, there's Brett Netzer for the Red Sox. Um, these are among the first autographs or the first cards of uh, of these players, you know what I mean? From like a major set. So these always have big value. That goes to the Red Sox, Peter Ng. So these always have big value. Now, imagine if the likes of Brent Rooker, right? Who's a 35th overall, so he's a late first round pick, SEC player of the year, right? If this guy ends up being, you know, starting outfielder for the Twins, maybe wins Rookie of the Year or something like that. Imagine what, what imagine what this version of that card would, you know, would go on a secondary market, like a lot. Oh, see that that's that's a good odd useless factoid. Your aunt is a tax agent, and she met Alex Wood today. Is she is she doing Alex Wood's taxes? Four ninety out of four ninety nine. He has to uh, he has to file differently now that he's married. Recently, Kanan Smith for the Yankees. I'll go to Scott Smith. Kanan Smith for Scott Smith. Not sure if there's a relation or not. And Matt Tabor. So you have the autograph, Arthur. Now you have a purple chrome as well, 47 out of 250. And you'll get this too. There you go. So these are your up and comers right here. Still looking for two more autographs in here. Oh, there's the other one. Lincoln Hensman for the White Sox. That's for Victor Z. Nice. It's a family show, Joe Cavanaugh. Watch out there. Paven Smith, look at this, Arthur. It's raining snakes. Paven Smith autograph. One eighty four out of four ninety nine. That's your seventh overall pick. This is a pretty huge one, actually. Like any, pretty much anybody in like the top ten, you know, is is, is like a pretty big autograph. And a refractor. And if this guy you know, is just even a decent player that should retain that value, if not more. I mean, obviously, we never know with any of these players, right? They could be busts. They could not be. Who knows? But for now, at least, for now, at least, pretty, pretty good. Yeah, nice autograph, too. Bacon. All 
Alright, so those are our three autographs. So unless there's a bonus autograph, that's it for this box. Blaine Enlow, purple paper to 250. All right, see you, Brian. You're still waiting. Joe Cavanaugh is still waiting for his Walker Bueller investment to pay off. I think that will this season. Twins, that goes to Colin Matoy. And there's Jacob Pearson. Out of 150, 82 out of 150 for the Angels. And that will go to Anthony. And there you go. One more box to go. Nice, Arthur. That's a strong one. Haven Smith. And thankfully, you, you don't have that front office that would trade away a guy like that. Dansby Swanson. That front office is gone. All right. Last box, good luck everybody. This is random team number seven. First half of the case, second half of the case already in the store, so check it out on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Dee Dee's asking what's better, Super Jumbo or regular Bowman Jumbo? Well, it's just a size difference. It's just, uh, you know, how much you want to pay. There's extra autographs in those things. I have pulled one of those before, DeGroosh, but it's, but it's been a minute or two since we've seen one. DJ Remix has facts of the day. Eric Ebron of the Lions played high school football, but 15 minutes away from you. Nice. Uh-oh. He's going to go, Joe Cavanaugh is going to go old school. Hall of Fame offensive lineman Steve Hutchins to beat you out for the varsity team in high school. You stayed on JV. Well, at least the guy that beat you ended up being a Hall of Famer. Imagine if that imagine if that scrub, Joe, would, would ended up being like third string on a Division II college or something like that. Or di didn't even get it, you know? So then it's just like, eh. I did see your fun fact, Corbin. Wasn't the Harry Carson one? I don't know who he is, so I can't respond to that. Tristan Lutz. Nice purple chrome for Manuel and the Brew Crew. Brewers, nice. 55 out of 250. 34th overall pick. Lee says that's a good one. D.L. Hall. Oh, that's not a name you want. D.L. 473 out of 499. You got to change that name, bro. That's bad luck. Although, you know, newspaper writers will have fun with this one. D.L. hits the D.L. today. D.L. on the 10-day D.L., D.L. Hall tweaked an ankle. Will he end up on the D.L.? Today's D.L. report features D.L. Hall, Luis Ortiz, 33 out of 99. DeCruz saying, of course a guy would draft a name, uh, a player named D.L. That Luis Ortiz goes to Manuel and the Brew Crew. What if his name was Disabled List? 
And it's just like, well, we want to name our kid disabled list, and we did, but it's too long, so we just shortened it to DL. DL for short. Kevin Maiton went to the Angels. And big day, big week for the Angels. Brendan McKay. And Quinn Brody. That looks like the face of a guy who just struck out. <laughs> when you when you when you blow out air, you puff your cheeks out like that. That's that's my look when I strike out. Ugh, that's a, that's a good swing and a miss on a pitch that you should have been taking all the way. That's what that looks like. Anyhow, there he is. Evan White. Kyle Tucker. 71 out of 150. Nice blue paper for the Astros. That'll go to Sam Banks. Chris Oakey, 155 out of 200 for the Red Legs. That'll go to Lee Keller. All right, so Lee has a couple parallels here, but he does not have an autograph. There's just one auto left. So good luck to Lee. Good luck to everybody. And it's Tanner Hawk. Peter Eng with the Red Sox. And there you go. 24th overall. That's a nice one, Peter. And there you have it, folks. That's our third auto. Unless there, there's a lot of cards left, there seems like there could be a bonus auto. Well, we'll see. Bonus auto, maybe? No, no, no bonus here. No, no bonus here. Maybe that's it. That might be it, folks. Any other parallels, at least? Oh, there we go. There's Kramer Robertson. 127 out of 399. Kramer. Cardinals. That goes to the Cardinals-Nationals combo for Mike Koontz. And that is it. The rest of it looks like paper, and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. That was a nice break of Bowman Draft Baseball. Random team break number seven from jazbeeshobbyland.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.